We haven't had the sort of rain this summer that makes mosquitoes a big issue. They are still still around, certainly in some low lying areas, and that's where they're hanging out. West Nile, Zika, chikungunya, or malaria are often spread by the bite of infected mosquitoes. Of course, we know bug sprays do mm -hmm. help, but Ursula Perry shows us a newly developed mosquito proof material that could be a game changer. <laughs> Hard to imagine something this small can do so much damage. One bite from an infected mosquito may be all it takes. It's actually injecting saliva into your body. And a team of researchers at North Carolina State University have been testing non-toxic ways to protect human skin. There's nothing like an actual being for attracting the insects. Even when you cover up, you're not out of reach. Mosquitoes can bite through clothing. So these scientists used mathematical equations to design material that mosquitoes can't bite through. And it has to do with the, with the pore size. If we make the pore size small enough, the mouth parts can't go through it the tortuosity of the path that have to go through to get to your skin. The researchers tested the material on the forearm of a team member, reaching into a cage with about 100 disease-free mosquitoes. And not a single mosquito was able to bite through. Michael Rowe's fascination with mosquitoes is more than 50 years in the making. It was fueled by his high school's 4-H club. Uh, I was the kid walking around the high school with a, with a, with a butterfly net. Others were drawn to the research by an interest in science, but stay because they're committed to making a difference. We all spend a lot of time doing this, sticking our arms in mosquito cages or sleeping under bed nets here because we really feel that a lot of this stuff here is something that can help. The researchers also tested a shirt for the military. They had a volunteer sit and stand in a cage filled with mosquitoes for 10 minutes and was 100% protected. If you're looking to buy some of these clothes, you're going to have to wait, though. NC State says that it's already given the patent to a startup company. It's going to start weaving these new materials soon. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.